Hello and welcome to No Code Mafia where we talk about anything and everything in the world of no code. In today's episode we're going to see how you can make one single app that can go to either a mobile device or a desktop device depending on who the user is. Say if you have a website that you have optimized for the desktop and you want to keep a separate one for the mobile because you don't want the layouts getting mixed up, you can have two separate pages that will handle both of them. So let me give you an example of a use case. So in my last video, by the way, check that out over here if you don't have. I don't know if it's here or here. New to YouTube, please go easy on me. Um, if you can see on the desktop app, we have a lovely one that scrolls and it's perfectly scalable. But when we look at the mobile side, all right, um, it's um, yeah, it's it's not really the best, right? So and it scrolls sometimes, it doesn't scroll sometimes. It's a mess. So we can fix it up by just you know uh, duplicating the page and cloning it by saying it's mobile. And I've just tweaked it out by making it perfectly load on mobile, all right? So made the font smaller, made 100% width, put some padding in between. So it's all perfectly set. Now, what we have to do is we've got to go to our index page and tell the index page that the mobile version of this particular app is the mobile page. And when we go to our mobile version, that is this one. And we have to say that um, if um, the page is loaded, all right, if a page is loaded and um, this will happen only when the width of the current page is greater than, usually people put like 300 to 400, I'm just gonna put 400 because that's what's the easiest. It just go to and we go to the index page. That's about it. <laughs> so in our mobile app, if we load, if we reload this and since I'm on the desktop version and yeah, so it redirects us to the mobile app, which is perfect right here. And say, for example, um, the desktop, the desktop person, person accidentally just um, stumbles upon like a mobile URL. It's going to load it for a second and then it's going to shift to our desktop version. So it's going to optimize and give us the best route option possible. So that's it guys. Hope you found this super useful. We use it for say if uh, a dash dashboard version that is really not possible to make on mobile. If, if you're doing fast development, it's not available to make on mobile fast. What I do is I just redirect the mobile version to go to a static. Um, this app is not available on mobile yet page. So that, you know, helps us, um, save, save the misfortune of seeing someone, oh, this is not working properly because I tried it on my phone. So if it's on your phone, it's not going to work. If someone on the desktop comes also, it will redirect to the um, correct page. Take care. Have a nice one. No code mafia out.